Assalamu alaikum guys and in this episode we'll be trying to understand the controversy that has gripped Sri Lanka only on Smile to Jannah. So the World Health Organization alongside 185 other countries have allowed the burial of Covid victims. But that does not seem to be enough for Sri Lanka because their medical experts are still researching to see if burying the victims is okay. It seems that they have some sort of special technology that they may have acquired from either Hogwarts You're a wizard Harry or Wakanda What do you actually know about Wakanda? That no other country may be privy to. What you're about to see is top secret. Do not tell my mother. Now because of this they are forcibly burning the dead, be it adults, be it infants or be it little babies. Now Sri Lanka is a majority Buddhist country yeah so Buddhist and Hindus are okay with this sort of stuff but Christians, Muslims and Jews are not. Now due to Covid it's bad enough that you can't see your family or friends in their dying moments but here you're not even allowed to grieve or mourn them after they've passed away. The Sri Lankan Human Rights Commission has spoken out against this, still nothing. The matter has been escalated to the Supreme Court, still nothing. In fact after rejecting it they didn't even give a reason. And if that's not the cherry on the cake, after forcibly burning their dead they are now being sent a cheque for 200 quid. What? Not only are they useless in science and human rights but it seems like they're useless in business as well. Final common ground. Now what's even more worrying is that people of faith are too scared to go there because if something was to happen and they would be you know isolated in the hospital and they were to pass away their fate would be the same. I mean imagine going to the hospital needing some sort of cream and then coming back as a pile of ash with a cheque of 200 quid for the grieving widow. When it comes to Islam and Muslims freedom of religion yeah and not forcing your beliefs on others is something that is pushed left right and centre. Anytime there's a problem front page news mate, debates all over radio and TV, what's going on here? Yeah, is it not a problem here? Where are the calls to reform Buddhism and its scripture? Will we also be seeing front page headlines about this? Or are we just gonna see obscure comments being made in parliament? Muslim sentiment and, um, and the decision by the Sri Lankan to mandate cremations uh, for all those deceased due to Covid. Now don't get me wrong, this is nothing new. The Buddhist majority has been oppressing the Muslim minority and let's face it Christian and other faith minorities there for quite a while now. The Buddhist extremists there have a link with the Buddhist extremists in Myanmar and Buddhist extremism is a problem but seldom have you heard of the two being used together because it doesn't meet the media narrative and it's an example of state sponsored terrorism. This is why anytime something happens yeah be it in terms of race, be it in terms of another religion or whatnot it's important for you to stand up against oppression yeah whether it's your people or not. The reason being eventually it will find its way to your door. It's the future of our race not worth a single human life. You'll never stop at one. These people are just power hungry and they won't stop at one group. Just because it's the evil group now they're not going to stop. So 969 the extremist Buddhist group is something to keep for the bank. Yes, next time there's a debate about extremism and groups and that you can mention 969. May Allah have mercy on the Muslims that are suffering in Sri Lanka. It is a very tough time, there's a lot of false reporting about professional Muslims, doctors, oh these doctors are injecting you with this or the Muslim shopkeepers are doing this with your food. Just false Islamophobic rumours that are further turning the population against the Muslims. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Are we done? Are we done here? Are we done here? Assalamu alaikum.